Welcome and thank you for your interest in Komatsu products. Today we're going to cover the monitor function switches found in the HST dozers. To begin with, beneath the monitor is six function switches. Moving from left to right, the F1 switch will access the customized screen. The customized switch allows the operator to select specific functions to use on the machine and store them into memory. The F2 switch changes the upper right gauge. Pressing the F2 switch will scroll through six selections. The available gauges are engine speed, machine speed, hydraulic pump pressure, battery voltage, drawbar pull, and clock display. The F3 camera function switch will change the monitor screen display to the rear view camera. When the camera view screen is displayed, the reference lines can be seen and any caution lights are displayed including the current gear shift range information. Pressing the F3 switch will return the screen view to the normal monitor screen. The F4 switch will change the lower left display from service meter to clock. The F5 function switch is used to provide additional information about abnormality codes or to reset the eco guidance message. The F5 function switch will only have a function icon over it when an abnormality code is active or an eco guidance message is displayed. The eco guidance messages are used for energy saving operation to reduce the fuel consumption and are displayed during the machine operation. The message will go out if the F5 switch on the monitor is pressed or five seconds after being displayed except for the engine idle guidance message. There are five possible messages displayed on the monitor. Avoid excessive engine idling. This message is displayed if no travel engine input is performed for more than five minutes. Use economy mode to save fuel. This message is displayed if light load work is performed for more than 10 minutes in P mode. Avoid hydraulic relief pressure. This message is displayed if the hydraulic system is kept over relief for more than 10 seconds during operation. Avoid overload. This message is displayed if the machine is overloaded to the point of shoe slip. DEF lower level. This message will start at 8 hours of DEF remaining until engine power is reduced. This message will appear every hour until the 1 hour remaining reminder is displayed. These guidance messages will turn off after 15 seconds or if the F5 switch is pressed. The F6 function switch is used to enter into the user mode of the machine monitor. The user mode menu screen is divided into seven tabbed items. These items are highlighted and selected by using the F1 and F2 switches to navigate through the tabs. The F3 and F4 switches are used to scroll through the items in the tab. The F5 switch provides the ability to return to the previous screen and the F6 switch will select the highlighted item. The first user menu tab is the Energy Savings Guidance tab. There are four items associated with the Energy Savings Guidance. To view the operation record screen, highlight operation records and press the F6 function switch. The information displayed can be viewed using two units of measurement, one day and split time. It is important to note the time displayed for each record is in tenths of an hour. A tenth is equivalent of six minutes. The working hours are determined by the amount of time the engine is running. The average fuel consumption is determined as a whole from the moment the engine is started. The actual working hours are determined when the engine above 1000 RPM and the directional lever in the forward or reverse direction. The fuel consumption actually working is the amount of fuel consumed during the actual working hours. Fuel consumed is a combination of fuel used during working and actual working hours. The idle hours are determined by the engine RPM below 1000 and the directional lever in neutral. The ratio of the machine operating in economy mode is measured in a percentage. For example, if the value is 40%, that means the machine operated in economy mode 40% of the total operating hours. The Eco Guidance record screen displays the number of times each Eco Guidance message has been displayed. This screen is displayed in one day or split time values and indicates the number of times the message has appeared. The average fuel consumption record screen will display fuel consumption in two graph forms, an hourly average over the last 12 hours or a daily display over the last 7 days. The graph can be cleared and reset using the F1 switch. The configurations menu will allow the operator to configure all the data displayed on the energy savings guidance tab. The options are available are the average fuel consumption display, the eco gauge, eco guidance on or off, and the eco guidance on or off key switch off. The machine setting tab contains two functions, the fan reverse function 
and the auto idle shutdown. The auto idle stop timer setting can be set to a specific time to turn off the engine when the idle time reaches a set point. The amount of idle time allowed can be set by selecting auto idle stop time from the machine setting screen and selecting one of the preset times. The after treatment devices regeneration tab allows the operator to control functions of the KVPF regeneration process. This tab allows the operator to disable the regeneration process, initiate a manual stationary regeneration when requested, provide messages and instructions, and includes a soot indicator gauge. The instruction box will display steps for the operator to follow to initiate regeneration. It is important to note that if the operator ignores the request for regeneration, the soot levels will rise and eventually cause the machine performance to be limited. The maintenance tab will display the machine maintenance items and the interval information. There are two columns indicating the interval and the hours remaining until the maintenance will be required. If a maintenance item is within 30 hours of the interval time, the maintenance lamp will appear on the main monitor screen. The maintenance lamp will be yellow and the icon over the F6 switch will become yellow, indicating the maintenance screen will be displayed if the F6 switch is pressed. If the item is within 30 hours of the service interval, the remaining time will be highlighted in yellow. The monitor setting tab provides adjustments for the monitor and camera screens. The camera screen adjustments include brightness, camera view, and guidelines. The camera view mode provides two selections, normal and reverse synchronization. The normal view is the default camera view. The reverse synchronization will activate the camera view when the direction lever is shifted to reverse. The guidelines can be turned on or off. The clock adjustment allows the operator to change five settings related to the monitor clock. The language menu provides 27 possible language options for the monitor panel. This concludes the monitor function switches. Should you have any questions, please refer to the operation and maintenance manual found inside the cab. Thank you for your interest in Komatsu.